I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be doing this. this happen I'm in another XJR oh man I don't need this but yet I'm here Ooh. some funky funky feels and smells going on here I'm gonna have to check back whoo all right well Welcome back to the Addicted Motors YouTube channel. I had uh, <laughs> I made a decision a couple weeks ago to thin the fleet down. Um, I sold the 99 Jag Vondenpla, the Snowcat, uh, in order to kind of focus my efforts on really trying to help the Range Rover get back to a more drivable state with the rusty floors and whatnot. And then I was scrolling around on Facebook Marketplace this morning and I screwed up. And I saw a car that I had been tracking for a few years that had just been coming on and off marketplace. And uh, yesterday I, I did a thing. Bought another Jag, but not a super Jag, the best Jag. But uh, so this is probably the cheapest, uh, 2000 was 2003, the cheapest XJR probably available in the United States right now. You know, I, uh, yeah, and guess what? It's rough, but it's beautifully rough. And let's do a, let's do a quick walk around and kind of show you what I purchased. I basically, I purchased another problem, but it's a beautiful problem and it's glorious. And uh, let's check it out. So first off, you're looking at this, you're going, you know, it's a variant of British Racing Green. It's got the right wheels. It's a 2003. It looks good. It probably just needs a wash. Incorrect. At least cosmetically. Um, so the backstory of this car, this car has been on and off for sale for years. And he started off at like 10 grand, and then he dropped it to seven a year later, and then it's been bounced around for 6,500. And yesterday, I saw it listed below $4,000, and I, I absolutely couldn't resist I, I'm not going to show for sure how I'm going to edit this video, but you might see my buying process <laughs> prior. Uh, I just basically said, yeah, I'll take it. And I, and I bought it and I drove it home. It was literally a mile from my house um, and it worked out. It worked out perfectly. So let's, uh, let's do the quick walk around here, guys, and just check this, uh, this beautiful luxury turd out. So the front end actually looks pretty good. The paint's fine. Um, as far as just the front, I have to, you know, wash it off and stuff. It's sitting under a tree, and it looks like it's been sitting on a tree for the last couple of years. He drove it every once in a while. Um, just to keep things circulating, it's got a new battery. Um, these tires are not terrible. I just rotated them around because the one that was on this side, it needs an alignment. So the tread was uh, worn on the outside. Uh, but it's got the right wheels. That tire is date stamp 16. This tire is date stamp 19. So I got I got one good tire. So I'm, I'm doing good. So we're going to come down to the uh, the driver's door. And this is where it starts to get interesting. Let's call it Patina. I got some awesome, awesome 2003 Patina going on here. And uh, a little more Patina here on the, on the mirror. Um, looks like, I don't know if this is, let me see. Let me check on that side. Is this an XJR thing? Nope. That door handle has just been replaced with a chrome one, probably from, from a Vondenpla. <laughs> um, so back door, paint's fine actually. Handle's faded. Uh, great graphics here from the original, uh, or the, the second owner. Got a funny sense of humor, his ad was great actually. Um, paint on the roof's pretty decent. Um, but again, this is, this is, it gets worse. Don't worry, I didn't, I didn't buy, this isn't a very nice car. Got a scuff in the back. Got the XJR big, uh, larger exhaust tips. Ah, here you go. Got a nice bit of paint fade on the rear quarter here. Extending down through the, uh, the passenger door. But again, this is a short wheelbase. Um, this is not an L, which I definitely like. 
And oh, a little bit of homemade rust repair. Oh, here's that bad tire here. Got some tread wear on the, the outer side. Really lends me to believe that it really does need an alignment. Um, so yeah, that that's actually, I think, the worst of it. Let me see. Make sure I'm not missing anything here. Yeah, super dirty, faded paint, but man, it is the right color. It is the right wheels. It is the right year. And ah, I, this is not something I need in my life. But again, how can you say no? I mean, it, it really is uh, a really pretty car, and it's gonna look kind of great in the uh, in the collection here. So let's uh, let's take a look on the inside. All right, let's check out the inside. Whew. Yeah, so, you know, the owner, I guess he was a car guy. It was just, you know, it was a third car, like most of these are, that his wife just wanted him to get rid of. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's the, the, the good thing about it, though, is... Let's fire it up here. Believe it or not, there's no lights on. This, uh, this is a rough-looking car, exterior and cosmetic-wise, but... Um, mechanically, it's actually pretty good. I, I, I got the uh, service record since 2007, uh, the grand total over the past um, pretty much 14 years or whatever was uh, $18,000 in service repairs, maintenance, tires, and whatnot. I'll go through the list later to kind of baseline everything, but uh, yeah. Fires right up, AC works, air works, radio works. He, uh, unfortunately, he said he ripped the original phone out because I guess he purchased it with the phone in it, which would have been nice to have. Got some gnarly details here. Um, it's missing that piece that usually falls back in the roof line. But look at that, the, the headliner's good, which is probably the first time, oh, that's interesting. I'll have to push this back in. Um, first time I've seen a, uh, an X308 with a decent headliner. I don't know if that's due to the fact that it's a short wheelbase or a long, or it's um, or it's more susceptible. The roof is more susceptible with the uh, the long wheelbase model. So, so yeah, this is a little bit wonky. Doesn't really close right. Probably need something over there. But uh, look at this steering wheel. I love the uh, I love the black leather accent, the black dash. I wish it was a black interior. I, um, I like black interiors. They don't show as much dirt and grime as, uh, as these kind of beige interiors do, but you know, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased so far. All the windows work, all the doors work, the seat works. Engine is very healthy. Let's pop the hood and check it out. I've already popped it. There you go. Very smooth. Um, I think he had the valve covers recently, recently replaced. It is covered with oil because he said he did an oil change and didn't screw the uh, the cap. I mean, for the the filter all the way, so he got oil kind of burped up all over the place. But listen to that. I mean, that runs that runs extremely smooth. I'm starting to learn a little bit more about these uh, four liter supercharged motors. Again, we still have the the Super Jag. The, um, the the Von and Plaz R that I've done in a few videos about, so please please go check those out. It's basically the the, the Daimler. Let's call it the Daimler uh, supercharged uh, Von and Plaz long wheelbase V8. That's 2001. So we're kind of racking up the Jaguars here, uh, like the Land Rovers, which I'll have a video coming up of another disco I found. So kind of getting a little bit out of control here with the with the recent finds and purchases, but that really makes it fun. Take it around to the other side. Again, I've done nothing to this car. I haven't cleaned it or vacuumed it or done anything to it. So that'll be uh, that'll be coming up here in a little bit. Um, I think the next move is we can take it out and uh, do a little test drive on it. See uh, see how she runs. But uh, yeah, I mean that's that's the backstory. Um, I'm very excited about this car. I wish I didn't see it, but I do have it now. Um, it's just right, it's just, just the right amount of, you know, looks and condition. I think it's cool that it's mechanically in decent condition, but cosmetically it's rough enough that I don't really care 
about keeping it super clean. Um, these cars were kind of purchased as executive appliances and were pretty disposable in the day. And I think they're just coming, people are realizing that, or people that have them kind of want them again because they miss kind of nostalgic feel and looks of this. They don't make a car looks like this anymore. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. And uh, I mean, it looks, I mean, it looks mean, it's bad. It's a car for criminals. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really get any better as far as that is. Let me turn the uh, fog lights on for the full effect. There you go. Oh, that was the, that was the fog light in the rear. And I got a fog light out, perfect, but still. All right, let's take it for a spin. All right, let's take another spin in the supercharged XJR. So there's the mileage right there, 109,000 miles, which I used to think was high for these cars, but you know, the more I get into them, the more I kind of learn that that really is pretty reasonable. And uh, I'm starting to trust the, oh, there's the power. I'm starting to trust the higher mileage ones a little bit more, especially if they've got good service history and good service records. Um, you know, this powertrain really does feel healthy. Let me uh, test that out coming up here in a second. Um, but yeah, it rides smooth. Um, I, I gotta probably get the front end sorted a little bit better. Ooh. Yeah, it pulls. It pulls a lot better than the other one. Um, power just comes right on. No, uh, no, no huge drama or anything. I mean, or what it revved up to about 6,000 RPM. Um, but everything else in the car, again, it really just needs to be clean and gone through. I mean, look at all these little trim pieces that need to be addressed. Um, I can't really think what else. You know, it looks like the owner just did the front brakes, changed the oil. Um, so I'm good on that front. It's so, you know, alignment, maybe a tire or two, uh, a good detail, and, and she's, she's good to go. She'll be met turn in right here i can definitely feel the ride difference though with the larger uh larger 18 inch wheels um the 17s that were on the von Pla, um really kind of soaked up the bumps a little bit better um I, I haven't checked the condition of the suspension either but you know just from uh a quick notion um you know it definitely rides slightly rougher you know it's supposed to be a little more of a sporty car sportier ride but that's fine i mean the roads around here are terrible so you know and there's nothing besides a, a raptor that actually feels smooth on these roads but they're uh, but they're working on it um yeah you know it, i will never tire of finding these you know luxo barshes or performance luxury sedans from the early 90s and uh, early 2000s that you know were originally 60 80 thousand dollar cars that can now be had for sub five i mean i think every generation has its halo cars um for me it was always an xjr or a uh an e55 with the 5.4 5.5 liter v8 so that'd be like a w210 or something uh amg i don't like the supercharged ones um they have the uh the brake by wire and a few other quirkier uh, features that make them slightly more of a pain in the ass. Um, but I think this is a good substitute. You know, as far as my luxury sedan halo cars, uh, an XJR or an E55, they kind of fall into that exact same category. But now that I've kind of gone down the Jag path, I think I'm gonna stick on it for a little while. Um, they're definitely better looking cars. Um, you know, I think they're very comparable uh, performance-wise, I think this one made 370 or 390 out of the box, something like that. And I'm sure you can change the pulleys on them to uh, to bump that up significantly. So, but again, that's something probably farther down the line. Um, I'm gonna want to have to make sure this one is healthy first. I mean, it feels healthy, but you know, you never know until you put it up on a lift. So that's probably gonna be the plan uh, coming up for it.
All right, do one uh, one last walk around on it in all its glory before I uh, before I detail and clean it. It's a pretty wide tires. Yeah, tire tread. That rim looks like it's got a little bend in it. I didn't feel it on the road, but I've yet to kind of take it on the highway and do a full test on it. So that's uh, that's the quick walk around. You know, you probably see the imperfections a little bit better in this light. Uh, that tailpipe needs to be adjusted a little bit, but I'm gonna take it home and clean it up and, uh, you know, try to breathe a little bit more life back into it. She definitely needs a little sea foam treatment. Probably needs some new fuel from sitting, but it's a gorgeous car. I'm super excited about it. Um, if you wanna see more on this XJR and more Jags, uh, Land Rovers, Audis, I'm, I'm actually gonna go look at the uh, a Land Cruiser Lexus 2003 uh, LX 470 with ARB kits later today. So that video will be coming up soon. So hey, I really appreciate everyone following along. Um, I'm learning as well as everyone else. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of hate on the uh, XJS video, but those cars are turds anyway. This is way cooler, a way better purchase. So I'm pretty excited about it. So please subscribe, check out the rest of the channel and uh, hear from you later. Thanks guys.